guys, it's Sarah and today is Booklist Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week we are going to be talking about books with non-human characters. So get ready for all the fantasy. Okay, so the first one I have is Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. This one follows an orc. Viv is an orc and she's a war orc. <laughs> Can't say that at all. Uh, and there are some other animal or creature characters in here as well, um, including a very large um, rat that cooks and I love him. <laughs> he was my favorite thimble. Mm, I loved him. He was just so precious. Uh, yeah. So all sorts of different animals, creatures, no humans to be found in this book. And this one follows Viv as she decides to retire from being a soldier and opens a coffee shop because that's all she wants to do. And it was precious. The second one I want to mention is the Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynn. First one is Malice. And this mostly does have humans, but there is an animal companion in this book who is amazing. <laughs> and she is a very large, oversized wolf type of creature. And it's one of those things where, you know, once you're loyal, that's it. Like, this is her person. That is that is all that there is. And that is what it is. And she will lay her life down for him. And I loved their relationship and their bond. And it really just came through on the page. So loved it. Okay, the next one I have is one of my favorite books of the year so far. And that is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass and the Crescent City series. And these are following angels and then our main character, Bryce, is she's half human, half fae. So she is part human, but not fully. So that doesn't count as being human because um, she does have, you know, fae abilities and magic and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, but all sorts of angels and creatures and and there's even you know, mer, mer people and just like all the things. So, and then the next one I have is one I haven't read yet, but I would really like to read this soon is Watership Down by Richard Adams. This follows bunnies or rabbits, probably rabbits, <laughs> less so bunnies. Um, but I believe it follows a group of rabbits who are trying to escape a very dangerous situation in the place that they're inhabiting. Um, I've heard really good things about it and it's been adapted a couple times and yeah, I just, I need to read it. And then the last one I'd like to talk about is Lord of the Rings. Is there a human? Yes. But there's a lot of non-humans as well. We got the trolls, we have um, the dwarfs, we have the elves, we have the hobbits, we have the wizards, we have <laughs> all sorts of things. Um, more orcs in this one as well. But yeah, so that was that was kind of an easy one. Like no humans for the most part, Lord of the Rings. Okay, guys, that is it for me today. Those are a few books that I have read and one I haven't yet that have um, non-human characters in them for the most part, majority. Let me know some of your answers down below. I would love to know any books that you would recommend um, that have non-human characters in them. And make sure you go check out Lindsay's video today and see which ones she is talking about as well. And we will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.